Uh, the next one for sure is important and more difficult than you think is positive self-talk. So, oh. you're right. <laughs> and mm -hmm. that term sounds fluffy. It's not. I don't want you to think of it as like just motivation, just inspiration, or affirmations. Affirmations are fantastic, but that doesn't encompass self-talk. So self-talk is that inner critic. It's the little voice inside that is either confirming or going against your beliefs. So if you have a negative critic, you're always second guessing yourself. You're always judging yourself. Like that's a huge one. You're always doubting whether you're capable or whether even something you did that was successful was actually valid or good enough. So you have to really notice what your critic is saying and hopefully shifting it towards like validating good experiences. So for example, you made, oh, how about this one? Pitcher gives up a home run. Person with the super negative critic is like, you idiot, why'd you throw that? You suck, you can't throw that pitch ever again. Like, God, might as well just pull me out, coach. Hey, pull me out right now. Like that is the most heart-wrenching to me. I've actually seen that happen multiple times where a player actually looked to us coaches and asked to be pulled out. That's telling me your inner critic is so harsh on yourself that you just can't escape it. So noticing that and knowing that it's not okay, I guarantee you're not a mean person. <laughs> Usually these critics are some of the most kind and generous people, but they're so mean to themselves when they're beating themselves up. Expectations are great. Perfectionism can be helpful, but only if you keep it in perspective and take the judgment out of it. So if I yeah, I strive to be perfect. I, I, pff, recording this video, I'm like, I got my lights. I want to look good. Da -da -da, I want this to be, I want to be able to see me. I want you to be able to hear me. But like, if this light burns out, if all of a sudden you can't hear me, whatever, well, I'll type in some captions. <laughs> like, knowing yeah. that striving for perfection and being perfect are two separate things. And knowing that if you judge yourself, because a lot of times we think that, like are projecting onto others, like, oh, they're judging me for that pitch. Like, uh, like my teammates hate me now. They want me to be pulled too, coach. Like, just pull me. When really, the teammate, okay, yeah, everyone's disappointed. Like, oh, dang. But they're moving on to the next thing. They're probably thinking about themselves, <laughs> worrying about what they have to do next. So really, it's all in your own head, and you're being your worst enemy. So flipping that, yeah, catch yourself in the moment, and then flipping it to something productive. So with that pitching example, oh my gosh, I just gave up a home run. What if it's like, oh, it's the last inning. Now they just went up by one. We have one more chance. That's tough. Like, that's a real stressful situation. Okay, well, what am I going to do about it now? Next hitter's up. What is she good at? Okay, well, she's good at this pitch. I'm going to throw her this one because I know I can fool her. Oh, there goes my mic. Sorry about that. Um, but knowing that there's always something next, something you can do. So instead of just flipping it to positive, like you're never going to be okay with something like that. Like, oh darn, oh, did, did you guys see how far that went? Like, wow, that got past me fast. <laughs> like, no, no one's going to get there if you actually are competitive and care about the game. But you can flip it to like, oh, okay. Well, not judging myself, that was a bad pitch. I'm not a bad pitcher. Let's move on. Very good. Yeah, that's very, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very, very good point because what, I mean, something else coming from High Performance Academy, which I just it sort of extrapolates on what, what you're saying a little bit, is so people who were super high performers in their research did a ton of positive self-talk, like on a daily basis, basically, and would talk to themselves a lot of the time in the third person, would be like, you know, all right, Julie, you're going to go out there and kill it today. You know, you're going to do this and that, you know, this sort of thing, which might sound a little crazy to some of us, but these are like the highest performers in the world. The people who were lower performance had, as you might expect, a lot of negative self-talk, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, you suck. You're just not good at anything. Like, why do you even try? Like, that sort of stuff. But then... <laughs> This is the really surprising one. What do you think the average performers did? Ooh. I don't know. No self-talk at all. Oh, that makes sense. Which is, like, which is so funny because I think 
that's that is average. I think most most of us. I mean, I, when I came back from High Performance Academy, I'm like, I'm gonna start talking to myself every day with positive self talk, and then like a week later, I'm like, well, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> so you know, but I do think that's kind of the average mm-hmm. thing is that we have no self talk at all. Again, unless something really negative happens, and then we're quick to be negative. Mm-hmm. So. Guys, that's so important because we're talking about stuff you want to do on a daily basis here. So let's make these good habits happen, okay? Mm-hmm.